Hi everyone, so in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about five things you need to know after you've had your hair colored. So you spent some pretty good money on getting your hair to the color of your dreams, and now what? So the first one is do not wash your hair for about 48 hours after you've had your hair colored. You really need to give the hair that time to really take in that color, especially if you've gotten your hair lightened, whether it was a toner or a color, you need to give the hair that time to rest. If you go home and wash your hair within hours of getting your color done, most likely your color is going to fade really quickly. The next one is use a color shampoo appropriate for the color you've gotten. This is more applicable for if someone, say, is going really blonde or has just added some lightness to their hair. Definitely use a purple shampoo to keep those blonde pieces nice and bright. Say, if you have gone for a more red, warm, really rich tone, there are red shampoos for that as well to keep that vibrancy alive. And even for rich, dark brunettes, there are options for brunettes as well. For brown enhancing shampoos, it's gonna make your hair look extremely rich and keep it from going dull. So the next tip is to use cold water or as cold as possible. But every time you use really hot water on your hair, it ends up opening the hair and making it more vulnerable for that color to seep out. The next one is caution with heat tools. Now we all know that heat tools used improperly or used too much can definitely dry up your hair. But not only that, it can also strip the color in your hair if you are using too high of a heat on your hair. So it's not to say that you can't use hot tools, just be a little bit more careful um, in order to preserve that color that you've paid money for. And the next tip is to book your next color service within the time that it is appropriate to do so. So say you have gray roots and you know you need to come in every three weeks, book before you leave just to make sure that you have that appointment ready for you and you're not gonna go an extra week uh, with gray roots that you don't want. So my best advice is really to be on a schedule or a regimen with your color. And if price is a factor for you, talk to your hairdresser. I think oftentimes clients will just kind of make these decisions on their own. They're like, well, I can't afford it, so I'll just come every four months. And if it's something that you can't afford, try and talk to your hairdresser. Most likely she can have an idea of, say, maybe we skip your highlight every other time and we just do a color, um, but just so that you're not walking around with roots. I think it's a huge compliment to us as hairdressers for our clients to also really value what their hair looks like. And I promise you that we want your hair to look good always, not just the day after you walk out of our salon. We want your hair to look amazing for six or eight weeks uh, or whatever we intend that appointment to last. All right guys, so that is it for my five tips for post-color service treatments. And I hope that these were helpful and happy coloring. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.